Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'll be looking at two new products from Inkbird that when combined offer tracking of temperature and humidity. But this video also looks at other products briefly that are part of Inkbird's smart home range. Because this video reviews commercial products, here is my full disclosure declaration. Please feel free to pause the video now and read this in full. In short, this channel is proudly unsponsored and independent. I base my review videos on facts rather than opinion to make them more relevant for everyone. So let's get to it. Inkbird are a well-known Chinese company who have been producing good quality, well-priced products for a number of years. They have been well embraced in various markets, including for home brew, all over the world, and I am happy to say that these products fit the usual quality and utility criteria that you can expect from Inkbird. Firstly, here is the Inkberg IBS M1 Wi-Fi Gateway. This is a small device that can easily be tucked away or placed anywhere without taking up too much space. Please see dimensions on screen in both metric and imperial measurements. It is certainly smaller than the average smartphone these days. You will also notice the weight figures on screen, so it is also pretty light. Essentially this product operates as a hub and it can be used to connect to other Inkbird devices via Bluetooth or 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Shown on screen now are some, but not all, of the compatible devices for Inkbird. You can actually have up to four devices connected to the M1 at any one time. You can see that there is a large range of different products here that all offer sensors. On the bottom line you will see a floating temperature sensor as well as a readout version for the home. The products on the top line are temperature and humidity sensors and the one that I tested with the Smart Hub is on the far left, the TH1+. More on this shortly. Shown on the left of the screen is an image from Inkbird's Pro app that provides a handy smart connection to data tracking and monitoring. This is available for both Apple and Android devices. Setup of the hub and sensor was very fast and easy using the smartphone app. In fact, you can see it going on here in real time in the background. Shown on screen is a video example of me pairing to the M1 to set it up in the app. This took just over 11 seconds. You can now see that the M1 is set up in the app and next to my 308 Wi-Fi temp controller. I found adding the sensor to be a very similar experience as well, so let's look into this sensor next. The TH1 Plus is a temperature and humidity sensor that works via Bluetooth. It comes with a nice long temperature probe and cable. See the bottom of the screen for sizing and weights in both metric and imperial. Like the M1, this is small and light enough to fit in anywhere discreetly. Here it is alongside the M1 for further size comparison. Unlike the M1 which uses USB for power, the TH1 Plus uses two AAA batteries that are located at the back of the unit as shown. This essentially means that it can sit almost anywhere. Here it is on the edge of my desk without the probe attached, but I have been testing this in various areas like my fermentation room in general, as well as attaching the probe to fermenters using plumber's putty for accuracy. I have also tested it inside my kegerator in addition to the area where I store my grain. Going back now to the Inkbird Pro app, you can see that we have data logging here for temperature for a couple of months. This can also be viewed as a single day or a single week. There is also the same data logging available for humidity as shown here. The data logging functionality of the product is certainly going to be useful for people for various homebrew reasons, but due to having temperature and humidity, this also opens it up for other things like salami and cheese making, mushroom growing, aquatics and so on. The Pro app also has the functionality for lower and upper limits for temperature and humidity that are alarmed directly to your smartphone, as well as the ability to calibrate both temperature and humidity via correction value entry. All very useful stuff. I found all of this to be very useful during my testing which was held over the summer, and one of the alarms led me to changing the location of where I store my grain to maximise on its freshness due to excess heat and humidity. With the more extreme winters and summers that many countries are experiencing these days, tools like this can certainly be very useful for keeping a watchful eye for you with things like grain storage and fermentation temperatures. I was unable to test the accuracy of the humidity out of the box, but I was able to check temperature, and this device was accurate straight away, with no calibration needed. Like with all of the Inkbird items that I have tested to date, these are very well priced with good quality and I have no reservations in recommending them. 
To join this YouTube channel's Facebook group, please use the link shown on screen now. We have more than 7.1 thousand members and we have a happy, friendly and helpful atmosphere. Everyone is welcome irrespective of experience level. The only thing we insist on is mature and friendly behaviour. This now brings this video to a close. If you have any questions, then please let me know via YouTube or Facebook. I do hope that you found this video to be useful, interesting and enjoyable. If appropriate, then please like this video on YouTube, and if you've not done so already, then please subscribe. I regularly post new content. Happy brewing!